welcome back, Love Nation. This is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has been coming to my channel. Like this video, share this video, and hit that notification bell so you know when I drop my next one. We have three ladies who we will be discussing tonight. We will be talking about Young Miami. We will be discussing Tiana Taylor and the Kiki Palmer restraining order situation. These has been very hot topics today, so let's just get straight into this mess. All right, you guys, we're going to start with Young Miami. Now, you guys know she has been in a very, very long-term relationship with Diddy for a few years. And while it seemed that he could be a long-term meal ticket to further her career, or endeavors, or brand, or whatever you want to call it, after the Cassie Files came out, um, I made several videos about the Cassie Files and everything that was documented in court. Young Miami is seeming to have to pivot from even putting Diddy's name out there. Obviously, it is toxic right now. Obviously, a lot of people do not want to even be seen in or around his presence, which is understandable. So, it is being reported that Diddy has been taken out of all the scenes that is coming up into a reality show-based um, program, which Young Miami is to star in. Now, originally, Diddy had filmed several scenes for this program, but now they have been taken away, and it is being reported by the Jasmine brand that all of the scenes are having to be redone without Diddy. Obviously, I can definitely understand that because even coming near him or speaking on him or including right now is toxic. However, I've said this time and time again, ladies, when you want to come up, do not make a man your entire life slash brand which is what young miami did i'm sure that she can pivot from this thankfully but we'll see how this goes and i'm sure she's still linking up with him because he is a meal ticket we will see how this situation ends up panning out for young Ma miami but as of right now diddy has been taken out of young miami's reality show Next up, we are going to talk about the very, very gorgeous Tiana Taylor. Her and Iman Shepard are actually going through a very, very messy divorce. I've made a video about this, so refer back to my videos. And literally, there were filings put in that were shocking. Tiana Taylor is accusing Iman of literally doing pharmaceuticals around their daughter. Daughters, excuse me endangering their lives, not really being a responsible parent, and even going to one gig and sending his daughters off to the gig in a different Uber, okay? There is a lot of things to unpack here, but I'm definitely going to say this. I honestly did not realize how messy this relationship was before all of these court filings started to get leaked to the media. And the biggest red flag for me during this time, and I again, I made a video about this, was when Tiana Taylor was openly talking to someone on a podcast about the menage a trois situations that her and her husband seemed to end up in during their relationship. Honestly, for me, I think that was probably one of the earliest red flags However, I don't even know if that was literally the nail in the coffin with this relationship. The way that Tiana Taylor is basically speaking, speaking out about this situation, it seems like there was a lot going, much more going on than meets the eye with him and not just the menage a situation. Um, there seems to be a lot of control going here. There are a lot there seems to be a lot of him trying to basically manipulate her career and manipulate her to be, per se, a stay-at-home mom. That is basically there to pleasure him from what I am reading. Now, again, 
they still have not spoken out about what the actual nail in the coffin to their separation was. But at their point, so much salacious gossip is out. I feel like even at this point, if they put that on the table, it shouldn't even shock anybody. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm extremely stunned from the details that we have gotten so far in this situation. So yes, the Iman Shepard and Tiana Taylor divorce has gotten even messier and Iman Shepard has not responded as of the making of this video. If there is an update to this situation, I will definitely let you guys know. Now let's get into our third story. So Kiki Palmer has just been granted a six-month extension to her TRO, which is a restraining order. And the restraining order is going to go into, I believe, around July 21st-ish when they can go back to court to um, further, I guess, discuss or litigate the situation. Now, as of right now, they did go to court right after Darius Jackson actually filed to get a restraining order himself. I did try to look into this. Um, because they actually did not go to court and just agreed to extend what was already in place. There was no judgment as of right now if Darius Jackson could get a restraining order against Kiki. So that's where we are with this situation. This entire episode with Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy is absolutely disturbing. Here is a clip of some footage that Kiki Palmer still shot it to get her restraining order. You can clearly see that there is a DV incident, incident going on in this video. And that is Darius Jackson standing over her. The lady in the picture, if you guys look closely, yes, that is Kiki Palmer. I made a video about this also, so check out my past videos. Where do we go with the situation? Honestly, right now... They are in mediation to try to figure out, I guess, visitation support or whatever they're trying to do in visitation. You know, honestly, you know, if they have to have like a court ordered appointed person to be with Darius during visitation or or whatever, I don't even know how this is going to pan out. You know, I'm just really hoping that everybody um, involved in the situation can find peace there has literally been a lot of mud slung on Kiki's name. During the situation, there has been text messages released from her end, you know, basically admitting to doing the same thing that Darius Jackson was doing on his end. And I'm just going to say this. This situation with Kiki Palmer is a mess. But honestly, let's just keep it 100%. You know... You might have to do a lot more screening before you lay down with people. I'm just saying. Because, you know, people could be putting on their, you know, what do you call that? Their honeymoon mask, you know, to get to know you or whatever. And this is not just for Kiki. This is for everybody trying to get into a situation with somebody. They're showing you their best version of themselves then they get you reeled in, you got a child with them or a relationship with them. Then you start seeing stuff that you didn't pick up on at first. I understand, I get it, but there has to be some boundaries set on, you know, how y'all need to move in this relationship. Now, there was also a lot of information put out that even before she was pregnant, that, you know, he was putting paws on her, if you read more into her lawsuit, I'm sorry, her restraining order papers when she was trying to get files, you know, papers put on him. So, again, uh, we're just going to keep updating this like everything else, you guys. Share your comments below on Tiana Taylor, Kiki Palmer, and, you know, the situation with Diddy in Young Miami. I definitely want to hear your comments below. Respectfully start that dialogue. So, those are your updates for the night. What do you guys think about these stories? Like, share, subscribe, share your comments. And until next time, you guys, 
Be safe. Enjoy your night. Bye, guys.